Now, China's decision to lock down the city of Wuhan, the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak, like may this, have prevented more than 700,000. 3,405 than in China, a much larger country where the disease of hospital workers sharing images of their daily trauma. Unfortunately, we can't contain the situation, says this nurse in Milan. There's a high level of contagion, and we're not even counting the dead anymore. I Many want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. We're going to go through a very tough two weeks. Having previously maybe sites like this at Elmhurst Hospital in New York just up there. Penambahan kasus konfirmasi positif yang baru sebanyak 113. Sehingga jumlah total menjadi 1790 kasus positif akumulatif. Mereka meskipun harus menangani ribuan pasien dan bekerja lebih dari 12 jam tanpa istirahat, mereka tetap bekerja dan berjuang melawan virus corona. Tetap menjalankan tugas mereka di Wuhan, Provinsi Hebei, Tiongkok. Inilah titik pusat penyebaran virus corona. I assure you that we know what to do to bring back our economy back to life. What we do not know is how to bring people back to life. Day by day, the hospital became the busiest place in this year compared to the airport. You certainly know the reason. Yep, coronavirus or COVID-19, a virus that has already claimed many lives in this world. Coronavirus is the virus that can infect the respiratory system, causing mild respiratory infections like the flu and causes severe respiratory infections such as pneumonia, MERS, and also SARS. Over this time, this virus quickly spread since 31 December 2019 until 3rd April 2020, there are 1,249 cases, including 51,515 deaths. Indonesia is also one of the countries that affected by this virus. As of April 3, 2020, total data were 1,986 cases, 181 were deaths, and 134 were recovered. Regarding this matter, President Joko Widodo confirmed directive to all Indonesian citizens. They are social distancing, conducting rapid tests, providing maximum protection for medical personnel, providing fiability and price stability of necessities, preparation of health protocols, and all the medical equipment is available. To realize the direction of the government, at least let us carry out social distancing or stay at home to avoid COVID-19. With this condition, we can work from home, learn from home and also worship at home with your family. Good day Press Universe, my name is Violeta Winona and I'm currently serving as the Vice Chairperson of President University Student Council 2020. Millions of people in the world are currently fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. First of all, I would like to deliver my deep condolences for those who have passed away during their period in fighting against this pandemic. And I would like to encourage all the young generations in the world, especially here in Indonesia. We have to realize that everyone has to take their role, their part in fighting against the COVID-19 itself. All the doctors, the medics have take their part in becoming the frontliners in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Then what we can do as the young generations? We have to apply the physical distancing. Please stay at home if it is not necessary for you to go out. Because by applying the physical distancing, we have played our part in stopping the transmission of COVID-19. 
together we can fight against the pandemic and at this time we have to realize that encouragement and consideration and even the smallest things can actually play the part as the prevention of spreading the COVID-19 itself. Hello everyone, my name is Tengku Rital Sabila here as the chairperson of PUSC 2020. During these hard times that we are all facing, the pandemic of COVID-19, the best that we can do is just to stay home. That is to keep our families, our friends, and the people that we love to stay safe. And so by, stay, by staying home, we hope that the world can recover from this pandemic of COVID-19 as soon as possible so we can go back to our normal lives quickly. And yeah, we don't want to our families, the people that we love, the world, Indonesia, to get hurt by this pandemic. So stay home, stay safe, and stay sane by drinking a lot of water, don't forget to exercise, as well as to keep productive as you can. And that is all from me. Don't forget to stay home and hashtag di rumah aja. Thank you. Staying at home has helped the government and medical workers a lot to against COVID-19 or coronavirus by PIC 2020.